Hi friends, this is Simran, a very warm welcome to all of you in my channel The Recipe Hut. In this video, let's learn how to prepare makhana or fox nuts in four different ways. They are loaded with proteins and fiber, great for weight watchers and also a great alternative to the unhealthy snacks for the kids. So for this I have taken 4 cups of makhana or fox nuts in a heavy bottom pan and now we are going to roast this for 20 to 25 minutes on a low to medium flame. Right now, if you press a makhana, you'll see that it's very soft. So we need to cook it nicely till the time the makhana becomes nice and crunchy. Cooking them very patiently on low to medium heat is important because otherwise you'll end up with chewy makhanas. So it's been 20 to 25 minutes and now you can see that the makhana is breaking with the crunchy noise and they're no more soft. And you can also see that they've turned slightly golden brown. Now we'll just turn off the heat and transfer them in a bowl. The first is the butter makhana that we are preparing. So for that I've taken half a tablespoon of salted butter in the same pan. Once the butter melts, I am going to add one cup of makhana or the fox nuts in the pan and we're just going to saute it for a minute or two. Since I'm using salted butter, I'm not going to add more salt. If you want, you can add according to your taste. It's been a minute and our delicious butter makhanas are ready. Time to dish it out. Kids just love this one because of the mild buttery flavor. And it actually tastes better than the butter popcorns. The second one is the mint makhana. So in the same pan, I have added a teaspoon of ghee. Once the pan is hot, turn off the heat, then add salt to taste, half a teaspoon of cumin powder, half a teaspoon of chaat masala and half a teaspoon of dry mint leaves powder. So I'm just gonna crush it with my hands and add it. I'll also be adding a link in the description box on how you can make this mint powder at home. Since the pan is already hot, the spices will get good. And to this I added a cup of the roasted makhanas. Give it a good mix. So our delicious mint makhana is also ready, time to dish it out. This has a very refreshing taste to it because of the dry mint powder we added. The third one is the makhana chivra that we are going to make. For that, in the same pan, I've added a teaspoon of ghee. Once the pan is hot, add a few curry leaves. Saute it for a few seconds. Now to this, I'm adding a tablespoon of roasted peanuts and a tablespoon of dry coconut. If you do not have the roasted peanuts, you can dry roast it in the same pan for a few minutes before adding the ghee and the curry leaves. So now to this I added half a teaspoon of turmeric powder, one cup of makhana, give it a good mix, add salt as per your taste and now we'll just saute it for a minute. The makhana chivra is ready, time to dish it out. This is a perfect snack for munching and a great way to avoid the pre-packaged snacks from the store which are loaded with preservatives and artificial flavors. The next is caramel makhana. For that, in the same pan, I added a teaspoon of ghee. And now to this, I am adding 2 to 3 tablespoons approximately of jaggery. And I am also going to add a few drops of water but that's completely optional. As soon as the jaggery melts, you need to turn off the heat and now add the makhanas. Once all the makhanas are nicely coated with the jaggery, we are going to add approximately 2 tablespoons of sesame seeds. Give it a good mix. One very important thing to keep in mind when making this one is that you do not want to overcook the jaggery. And we need to turn off the gas as soon as the jaggery melts. Otherwise, it will become very hard. Right now, if you notice that they're slightly sticking to each other, but once they cool down, you can easily separate it by hand or with the help of a spoon. So our delicious caramel makhana are ready. Time to dish it out. This is my personal favorite. So do give all these recipes a try. And if you try, do not forget to tell us in the comments how it turned out for you. Thumbs up if you've liked the video. Subscribe and also click on the bell icon so you get an update when I upload a new recipe. Thanks for watching.